should ask him. <laughs> Mostly because I forgot to shower today. I wanted to shower. Yes. <laughs> Who's got the most? <laughs> <laughs> I good, wonder why. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I just leave it on in the background. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Is, wait. That's pretty world, easy. How in the world does Connor have half my time? Oh. <laughs> Obviously, I've never done that, but I, I mean, I could see how it would be. Well, there's, to do there's no <laughs> way you could have done that. You have two less hours than me, Nathan. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Factually impossible. <laughs> I was accidentally muted in OBS. That's funny. Anyway. <laughs> um, On this stream, we're doxing Nathan. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Or, yeah, we're doxing Nathan for not logging into Foundry and also doxing Connor. Yeah. For also not logging into Foundry. A couple of times we've gotten like an hour into a session, right? And then I've been like, all right, Connor, can you make me this roll? And he'll be like, uh, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to say, if you are going to dox me, does that mean I get, like, a new identity? No. Do I get to be somebody cool? No, that's... Gotta talk to witness protection for that. Yeah, th th that's witness protection, not the doxing anti-protection yeah. program. Gotcha, okay, right. so I need, to, I need to see a crime. Right. So I need to see a crime do. God, it's kind of... Yeah, you also need, you need to see a crime and also, like... It has to be, like, worthy of covering up, you know? Mm -hmm. So, actually, I'm not going to say what I was going to say, because that's a little spicy. Um, <laughs> also, I'm really confused, because I thought I had expert in occultism and expert in performance, and also expert in society, and I'm a little lost. How many how many expert skills do you have, Nathan? Um, expert skills. So uh, on was it Monday or Tuesday? We went in and talked through some stuff. I have one expert and one master. He is an a uh, master in athletics and an expert in thievery. And then uh, weapon wise, uh, he's a fighter, so he's got. Uh, master and expert in a few things. Well, you have you you should have uh, master fighting. Like you should have like master profici proficiency, right? Because you're level seven now. Uh, yeah. In terms of the weapons, yes, there is a specialty uh, axe weaponry. He is a master in, and then an expert in simple martial. Uh, trained and advanced and an expert in unarmed. It must be nice to have expert in weapons. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. Start something. Let's see what happens. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, I will just expertly spellcast at you instead, actually. <laughs> That's the thing, is like, you know, big talk of Oh, I'm an expert in, you know, weapons. It doesn't do much good if you get spelled to not want to attack somebody. <laughs> but I think the... I feel like you are not going to have that problem. No, probably not. Uh, the saves are actually pretty good on him, too. Uh, I think he's expert in some... Like, in every save across the board, which is neat. I'm trying to remember... I didn't level up, and I was, like, I, I say I'm level 7, like, on my character sheet, but I didn't do any of the actual, like, uh, the, the actual leveling up <laughs> process. <laughs> well, at least, at least your bonuses went up by one. Almost everywhere. 
And like I have Dimension Door, so I did do some of it. You, you have know. to. Oh God, Dimension Door. Okay. Well, if I'm gonna be honest, like level four Bard spells a little whack. <laughs> I, I feel like I didn't get Dimension Door until like level 11 on my Cleric and Pathfinder First Edition, so I'm curious how it functions. It's the same. It's the same. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just in time for me to... It lets you switch between dimensions, right? It's not the one that lets you like... No, Dimension Door is like the super long range blank spell. Okay. All right. I'm glad. It's like... <laughs> okay, range is 120 feet. Okay. I mean, that's pretty big. Like, I mean, yeah, that's not, good. We've it's... not played on a map bigger than 120 feet yet, so... Right. It's it's not the, like, anywhere on this earth teleport. Though. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. It's not a... Oh, oh no. Dylan, the, the grid. What? The grid. About it? It's off. Where? On the world map. I don't think it is. I see like little gray overlays. Uh, maybe try I refreshing. Think... Okay. Because that's happened uh... to me a couple of times and I've freaked the fuck out. Yeah, I could see why. Okay, <laughs> are we back? Are we back? It's, it's paused. Okay, okay, I think we're good. I'm pausing. Oh, wait, I get a general feat too. Important. socials and stuff. I'm going to go refill my water.
Okay, I am back. Welcome back. <laughs> Apparently the internet, like... What do you, what do you call the, like... The emoji that aren't... That are, like, just built into the text code. Um... Like emoticons, almost? No, yes. That's not right. But the but the Is one it? that you can bring up by just hitting like Windows colon. Um, mm. There's like one that is a skull and crossbones, but apparently the Chrome browser displays it as like a flag and then a skull next to the flag. <laughs> <laughs> Methinks we might be encountering pirates then. Well, you know, it's possible. Or else, uh, Lundberg has a much cooler flag than I expected. <laughs> I mean, it's very likely. Yeah, probably. We've not seen Eden's flag, so... That's true. That's what we really need to dig into this session, I think. <laughs> Let's talk flags. <laughs> flags. That's... <laughs> definitely a, a portion of world building that I skimp on. <laughs> Wait, what? You did? Oh man, I thought you had that all set up already. <laughs> no, I mean, I did it for like the stags and stuff and a couple other people, but. True, yeah. Mostly when I needed that? I don't know. I've never needed an Eden flag, actually, for some reason. Because you knew we'd ha like have to make our own now that we're running the show. <laughs> right, yeah. Why go to all the effort when you know we're just gonna take over? <laughs> yeah, the old flag was actually just, they asked Adam what he wanted the new flag of post God Eden <laughs> to be, and he was like, I don't know. Uh, see, there's an option here to just take a selfie. Uh, <laughs> just click that. <laughs> just Adam doing like the the peace sign or whatever. Yeah, exactly. He's doing no. He's doing like the peace like peace hands and duck face. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Wait, but which one is Adam? I see like three people in this picture, and I don't know which the one. The one on the the one on the right is uh, the god of death, and the one on the left is actually Danala. <laughs> And then you just see, like, Scala in the background just ignoring all of them. <laughs> or maybe having, like, a, just rolling her half eyes. a burrito. Like, half a burrito chomp. Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> they weren't aware the picture was being taken. I do need to be having a... Expert. Or, I need to be master in stealth. So there's no way for me to take Shadow Dancer by level 8. Because hmm. we, as we have decided, and as is canon, what is sinking? <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, Solace is not trained in stealth. Oh, yeah. Is Sona's trained in stealth? Do yes. we have stealthy mm -hmm. people? Sonus and Eve were both trained in it. Only one of them was actually good at it for some reason. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I guess I'm trained in it. This is weird. New character. Who mm -hmm. is this? My roommate ordered pizza. Like, got pizza like four hours ago. I'm having a cold slice right now. Mm. And it's gotten... Parts of it have gotten crunchy faster than I would expect. I'm a little concerned. What do you mean? Like, I'm just eating the pizza. And, like, parts... Like, the bottom crust... Are just crunchy. But... Is it... Like, a thin-crusted pizza? Um... Not especially. It's got like stuffed, you know, back crust. Let's say I'm more concerned the fact that you're, you don't sound like you know the answer to that question. That's worrying. It's, yeah, Pizza Hut. I, like, like I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, like Pizza Hut has like four different types of crust. 
Yeah. I'm gonna look up Pizza Hut stuff. Well, like I'm at the end of the pizza. I don't have a lot of the, the rest of the crust to like observe and. Okay, but like, it's a little weird to me that like you just don't remember. Like, <laughs> Well, see, I, I, I think okay. that's a good, like, phrase for Pizza Hut pizza, though. It's like, you're at the end of pizza. It, it do be kind of thin. Yeah. Well, like, yeah, the, the regular crust is just kind of thinner. The reason my sound broke, like, literally right in the middle of that. Oh. Huh. Well, like, I don't know. It held its form the entire time I ate it, which is a trait I don't usually attribute to thin crust pizza. Usually it flops all over the place. But it's crunchy, so I don't know. Uh... <laughs> I don't know about that. I think you've only had bad thin crust pizza because yeah, thin no, crust I'm pizza, here. bad thin crust pizza, like is floppy, but like good thin crust pizza, like. Am I conflating? Well, I don't know. Okay. Well, I don't know what that word means, so maybe. I don't know. <laughs> could be. Could be. <laughs> if you have a be a with you. slice of thin crust pizza from a large pizza, it's not going to hold its form. It's going to bend in the middle. That's oh, if you just have a thin slice of pizza, yes. But if we're talking like thin, like, like a thin crust, thin pizza, crust, that's different. It doesn't though. matter how big it is because it should be hard on the bottom. It should be crunchy. Hmm. It should be like eating pizza off of a cracker, you know? Like it should shard huh. before it starts bending. <laughs> I guess that's probably what this is then. I like that. It, it's like a, it's like a rock analysis term. You also use it for baking bread, because some some crust, uh, some crusts, like when they break, it's called sharding, huh. just the way the hmm. surface of the bread is formed. But I'm looking. I, I posted a picture of a stuffed crust pizza, and it's pretty thin. Mm -hmm. But honestly, I would never eat stuffed crust pizza because uh, it's a lot of extra calories. It is that I would love to actually devour, but no, I shouldn't. So I'm here. Hey. I'm gonna order I, I, a stuffed crust pizza. I'm gonna sound. I'm gonna sound like a potato for a for a little bit. You're on a phone, right? Um, no, I'm on my oh. laptop using a really trash built-in oh. like, earbud. Um, because I installed that SSD and I decided to do a clean install of Windows, so I have to just really quickly install Discord and. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and uh, also my audio interface drivers. Okay. Uh, this is the kind of professional stream people tune in. Mm -hmm. All right. But if I do plan on making him an elder departure, I probably need to be able to make my own spell arrows. The character that I will be bringing in does have some crafting ability, so we might be able to make something work with that. Okay. I think this is more about <clears throat> Solid being able to do it without anyone else. Yeah. Because well, I, like I you have to with. you have to do like you have to repair your shield and shit, right? Because I assume you have a shield. That is correct. He does have like, a shield. You repair your armor. So Right, he needs to do that. Uh, he needs craft for trinkets. I took the trinket dabbler trait or archetype. There we go. That's the word I'm looking for. So, is there a reason why you chose like specifically fighter over uh, investigator? Was there not like an investigator archetype that you thought particularly jumped out to you? Because I was uh, going to ask you about this. Yeah, the investigator the day, didn't but... quite sing to me the way I wanted it to. Where's the skill thing? Okay, next.
probably need to like set up the token for your character, huh? Oh, that's a good point. If you uh, if you got some mojo that you need to do. Um, are you? Hold on. There's two character sheets now. Uh, the one that has fighter after it. Okay. Because that's the, the we can get rid of the old one. Uh, that was okay. more just in case I completely botched it while making it. I hit, I didn't lose all the previous work. You do need a different icon. Okay. forgot <laughs> there's a lot to do when setting up a new token um image yes vision has vision all the things now. All right. Let's see. <laughs> so we didn't do the full warm-up chat thing, but I guess it's <laughs> technically been half an hour, so... I, we can get started if you guys want to get started. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. Um, well, would anyone like to give a recap for an extra hero point? Sure, let's see what happened last time on Eden Ball Z. 
Uh, I believe we started inside Eden or Adam's library, where we realized that it zip zapped around uh, from going blank to having many books about um, kind of all kinds of knowledge checks and creatures and creating things, uh, biology notes, that kind of thing. We had ourselves a sweet coronation real quick. Uh, on the way back, uh, and another assassin showed up, tried to kill us after stopping pretty much the entire guard in time, except for the leader of them, who was pretty much useless in it. Uh, after a brief fight, uh, he was captured and brought back. Uh, I believe his name was Vern, is that correct? Vern. I think it was. I think it was Vern. Um, and he filled us in that Denala is trying to get out to destroy Eden. Uh, Vern is a fan of Sonus, I said in here. Uh, and he had participated in a uh, ritual to get his weapon against a uh, Scala Acolyte. Uh, apparently the old gods are not happy. Uh, in the fight, Blevin got a little hurt, so Ludwig had to rush off and heal him up. Uh, and then we uh, teleported around all kinds of different places using Adam's cool tricks. Uh, and then discovered that the rot is spreading and that when the group showed up in the uh, the fort that was bought, uh, Moto, you're going to have to remind me of the name, uh, there were a lot of ships out there menacing-like. Yes. They were sitting there menacingly yeah, exactly. and there's I'm going to slightly re-describe that scene um, as the party like came through the portal they realized where they were pretty quickly they recognized like the um, you know they kind of like walked outside recognized uh, Fort uh, Hefio am I getting it right this time Cool. Um, recognized it as this fort that the party had purchased previously. Uh, it was like somewhat familiar. And um, the second thing that happened is that you heard the creaking of like the trebuchets above firing. Um, just like the wood straining, rocks going flying, and then like the sound of splashing off in the distance. Um, and so the party had, like, rushed up to the ramparts to see what was going on, and that's when you saw, yes, the sails in the distance to the north, but also the ships, like, right, like, less, you know, just down the hill, basically. <laughs> like, um, kind of, like, making way towards the, um, towards the mouth of the channel that, like, heads in deeper into the continent. continent. Um, and I believe... Nathan, correct me if I'm wrong. That is about the time that Ludwig decided to head back through the portal and inform the council of that, like, this invasion was happening. Yeah, that sounds great. Thank you for the hydrate, Connor. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, yeah. Um... So Ludwig headed back through the portal to um, inform the council faster than the speed of, of horse would allow. And the rest of the party stayed to uh, kind of deal with the, see what's going on, deal with the consequences of, uh, of what's happening. Um, but we're not going to start on the party. Um, we're going to start with an orc on a boat. A half orc on a boat. Um, Worm, would you like to describe your new character? Um, Worm? is six foot something uh a massive broad shouldered squad? orc what's that tall boy squad tall boy squad indeed he's a hefty guy uh wearing a uh, pretty decently thick uh scale armor but the armor itself is looking pretty ready uh it's got like uh 
it looks like some kind of paint on it uh, so that he can fit in a little bit better with these pirates. Looks like it uh, was from that. Uh, on one arm, he carries a small uh, steel shield. And in the other hand, he has a uh, orc neck splitter that, uh, as he just holds it, a small drop of blood trickles down the blade and drops off. Uh, and he has his eyes firmly on the fort. Yeah, so we, like, <clears throat> the camera is, like, going and looking at the details of this, uh, this burly half-orc, like, going up of his, uh, up his form focusing on that axe for a moment, and then his face focused somewhere else, and that kind of, like, turns to reveal that he's staring at the fort. And, um, these ships are a little ways off of the channel. And there's, like, a a loud splash from the direction of the channel, the much narrower kind of choke point over there. And, like, a uh, bunch of the sailors look over, and there's, like, just a couple of volleys of these, like, big rocks that have, like, landed there is just like warning shots <clears throat> and there's kind of like some uh there's the captain's like barking orders um their deckhands running around trimming sails and dropping anchor so they don't like float into the firing range of these trebuchets um and uh where I'm, you're not here like, you've been helping on the deck, but that's not, like, what you're here for, and you know it. Um, and there's a call to, like, rally a, uh, kind of a strike force, a landing party, uh, and, like, your commanding, commanding officer, basically. Kind of, like, taps you on the shoulder, just a, a tall human fellow with a, with a beard and, like, a scar going down his cheek. It's like, time to earn our pay, friend. As he like rushes past you and starts uh, letting down this rowboat. Uh, yeah, and Warham's gonna nod uh, and kind of gesture to the rest of it. Come on, you heard him. Let's get going. Solid. And, I love it. And. Uh, while people rush by him, he reaches into a nearby barrel and pulls out a small sack of his stuff. All right. Um, yeah. And there is a loud chanting on the, um, the forecastle of the boat. There's, uh, you recognize, like, the seer of the boat that you're on, um, standing there casting some spell. And, like, all at once from all three of the boats that are here. Uh, this, like, kind of carpet of mist just, like, erupts forward towards the fort to, like, cover your approach uh, as all of these all of these soldiers and everyone climb into the boats. <clears throat> um, we can jump up. I guess it's just the other two now. Numbers. That's how they work. <laughs> uh, so... Solus and Sonus. You've, like, just arrived on the ramparts. Ludwig just left you. Um, the trebuchets are firing. You haven't talked to any of the soldiers yet. There is, like... You see them fire this warning shot. And you see these boats out in the bay. And then you see this, like, fog kind of uh, spreading from them between the boats and the shore. Um, what do you do? What are you... What are your current plans? Uh, I'm cleaning up my desk because I'm Solid. having a, an anxiety attack right now. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Clean um, desks are good. Uh, let's see. I, I guess I, I can. Dirty. I guess I can go, go first, if that would give you some time, then Moto. Yeah, and we're not really like in combat yet. It's just like. I mean, I can sure make it that, that at least Sonus <laughs> is. <laughs> You're looking for an orc, and you're gonna fling the blade. I am um, already in action. The moment an orc steps within 500 feet. Uh, so, do... So right now, from from just the, the party perspective, 
uh, Nathan, your new character is like seemingly on the opposing side. Uh, that would be correct, I believe. Okay. He would still be on the boat. Okay. Um, and there is, by the way, um, I'm also still not in Foundry. Um, <laughs> yep. Give Give me a minute, cause I'm I I now have Google Chrome, so I can. Hey, nice. <laughs> Hopefully you can remember your Foundry password. <laughs> no. It's probably synced to Chrome. It's fine. Yeah, um, I think. Ooh, I think it is. Mm -hmm. Chrome syncing is one of my favorite things, and I love that you can have multiple accounts. Yeah. Same. It's literally a basic function, but it makes me happy. Yes. Uh, so I can have one for like personal stuff, and I can have one for. Just whatever. Okay, um, now I'm in. Um, okay, so I don't I don't think we can see see the boats from here. You cannot see the boats from here. I don't have a map of the boats. Uh, okay. okay, let me let me open the camera. Oh no. <laughs> We're this is a very gray ocean. I love it. Yeah. You're uh you're you're slightly out of bounds. I can you're this is what the map will look like. It's gonna look okay. familiar, but gotcha, you're gotcha. um you're in the convenient GM space right now. <laughs> That's okay. I have no idea what it looks like, so this is perfect. Yeah. Do I like... Oh, okay. All my stuff is very... Fi oh, wait. <clears throat> One minute. Okay. I think it's this... <laughs> oh my god, stop. Let me... Sorry, one minute. Yeah, no problem. Um... My my character sheet was like barely visible, <laughs> and I think the reason being was is the uh, the night mode extension that I have. Yeah. Like installed. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's now it's normal. Okay. okay. Um. So yeah, y'all are technically on the wall here. By the way, this map has no grid because of reasons I won't get into. <laughs> it has a grid, <laughs> but it has no foundry grid. Um, All right. How, f how far would you say the ships are? Uh, 501 feet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, they're, they're further than the range of your, your sword technically, tossing. Technically, also still fireballable. True. <laughs> uh, yeah, though they're they're har hard to say, but okay. Um, um, if I want to cast spells, is it right now? Is it still like three <clears throat> actions per? Or is it kind of just whatever? Uh, it's kind of whatever. You can you can prepare whatever you want, but the the enemies are more than a minute away, if that is relevant. Um, I was gonna cast elemental motion and literally just go like fly just... over to them. <laughs> How long does <laughs> elemental motion last? Um, man, it'd be really cool if I I could tell. <laughs> Okay. Uh, <clears throat> details. One minute. <laughs> so I'd like fly over there and fall in the water. Aha, yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> um, you're welcome to do that. For what it's worth. I mean, my, I am the Midwest paddle. Yeah, I did hydrate by the way. I just took a took a drink. So okay, good. Yeah. Um. I think. I think Sonus will kind of just stay put for now. Okay. Um. All right. Totally fine. Um. Solus, do you have any any actions you would like to take for now? Any anything you'd like to do? Oh, they fired a trebuchet <clears throat> at us. You guys, the trebuchets firing were from the fort. Um. You are up the hill and safe from any kind of arms fire that they have down there at the moment. 
So as of now, they're like not doing anything to actually attack us. Uh, right, not like directly. Um, they just kind of floated this fog, like a huge blanket of fog over um, the boats and like the space between them and the channel and them and the shore. Mm. As it turns out, I do not have a way to get rid of fog. Okay. Foggers. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah, you can hear just like the shouting of the, the soldiers from inside. Uh, someone's saying to, well, actually on the roof above, it's just looks like it's inside on this map because I don't have multi-level oh. maps. Um, but, yeah, uh, so like, I guess if they're not like mobilizing, like Solace would like summon an instrument in them. Okay. Uh, like horn. I can't summon an instrument. And okay. And blow it. All right. Very well. Um, there's like kind of a, a, <laughs> a quiet, like the soldiers just above you kind of get quiet and like one leans over the, over like the, um, the side of the roof of the tower. It's like, where did you two f come from? Oh, you, you okay? know, uh, <laughs> yeah. And some of us would kind of just feel like pointing, just... <laughs> Like, doing whatever until the guy just accepts it. Okay. <laughs> um, yes, fo focus, I can, I can do that. We're, <clears throat> yes. And he just, like, turns around. And... Where did you come from? Pay attention, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, are you with Eden, then? And, like, turns and says something to the, the other folks on the roof. Don't we don't we own this fort? Yes. <laughs> I think so. It is it is co-opted. Like it's yeah. technically co-opted because we couldn't like technically own the fort and also like not let the green stags be in it, you know? Yeah, that was like part of the part of the stipulation okay. for whatever good price they gave you is like we get to shoot rocks from your roof sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I think I think Sonus would just shout that at them. He'd be like, "Uh, yeah, we're the owners, okay?" Oh, oh well, well, welcome. Um, <clears throat> he, he I... just waved. <laughs> <laughs> I feel we're in rather dire straits at the moment. Oh, I... Seems we're safe for the moment, but I, I fear, a... I fear a landing party. What did you guys do to piss these ones off? Well, they are part of an invading force trying to enter the channel to get closer to Eden, and we, well, we fired rocks at them. They didn't like that. I mean, understandable. I wouldn't like getting rocks launched at me either, but you know, sometimes you gotta do. Uh, sorry, I'm like, I should have leveled up more. I just uh, like literally did not do any of the things I said I was gonna do. I just took three weeks oh off. Oh no my big deal. god, you're right. Yep, we leveled up. <laughs> I was gonna say, um, there's a, a outside chance that Worm is the only one fully leveled right now. This is wonderful. Carry on, everyone. Yes, um, yes. <laughs> the archive. So where, where oh, around here is a landing party going to be? Yeah. So basically, um, I wish this map was a little bigger, but there's like a path down here. You guys are up on a hill, uh, which gives these trebuchets some nice extra range. But there's like this path that goes down the hill, um, and they'll, they'll likely be coming up that path. Uh, Otherwise, it's just like a lot of a lot of rocks, very steep. Not going to be able to move a lot of people very quickly. Um, but yeah, generally to the south, uh, it's kind of southwest is where the the trail heads. Um, okay. uh, quick, quick question. Sure. Do I change so on sorcerer level seven? 
it says I become an expert spellcaster, so on my uh, thing, do I change the proficiency for all of my spells to expert? Yes, you should just be able to bucket do it by... Yeah, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean for, like, innate and um, then focus, <clears throat> or, well, yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Cool. Oops. How tall is this? Uh, is this, like, wall? Is this, like, uh, banister? Banister? I want to say it's, like, a smaller... Mm, what is an appropriate size? I want to say 20 like, feet, perhaps. Okay, okay, that is pretty far. <laughs> um, Nathan, that doesn't conflict with what we mentioned before, right? Um, I don't know what you're pointing at, I'm afraid. Let me, let, oh, just, let me watch the stream. No, sorry, just the, just the walls, are. yeah, walls of the keep. I think you said about 20 feet. Yeah. That, this I, is a yeah, midget keep, right. what the? What? Really? It's a midget keep. Is 20 feet not tall? <laughs> uh, my house is like 17 feet tall. Yeah. Wow, wow you're just trying to flex at this point. Yeah, well, really, no, it's, it's, it's like crazy. not a very tall house. Like an average story is like 15 feet. Unless it is also in, like, like definitely... Uh, up, like, no, it's fine. I don't actually care. I was just like, <laughs> I was trying to figure out if I could jump from here to where these soldiers are because I don't want to have to like walk all the way around but then I realized that like if this is 20 feet and like this is still 10 feet like a large okay like for the purposes of what I was trying to do the height doesn't matter because like there's no way yeah. salt can jump 10 feet like <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't actually matter so I guess he just like walks away and like there's like a weapon rack, I'm sure, somewhere. Ah, yes, yes. Um, probably in each of these towers, I would say. I like that you're just looking up. Oh, I, I'm so used to that being my side monitor. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yes, I found out that they vary wildly. <laughs> it's like, yeah, they can be. 20 to 80 feet high. <laughs> like, great. <laughs> so you're saying we have a we have a low end for it? I'm <laughs> we, look we at paid it. good we paid good money for this for we, we it. Actually, this was, paid, this was also, really cheap. We also got it on the t-shirt for, sure. for sure. Yeah, Not you luck. you definitely paid for a low end for it. And also it's like it's all about the location for this one. It's not sitting in the middle of an open field. Doesn't need 80 feet walls. Are you saying it's, it's like? Are you saying it's like buying lake property? Uh, yeah, except yeah. For coastal property. We we, right. we got we got really bad lake prop. Like we're we're oh. on the lake, and really that's what matters. You're like we got a view of the bay. You know how some of the lakes in Minnesota, there's just like real fucking steep ass hills. Yeah. Going down to the lake. This is that. <laughs> okay. You got a view and extra height from which you can lob arrows down at people coming up a path. <clears throat> I, w I was still thinking about the lake house thing, and I'm <laughs> still lobbing arrows. <laughs> yeah. Is it no? What, what you, you do? Bow hunting is legal yeah. in Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> bow hunting le is legal in most states. Yeah. Uh, but so yeah, I guess he's gonna like walk past some guards and like. He needs to he needs to acquire a longbow because like he can hold a longbow. Ah yes. Um yeah. There's just like they are themselves. Uh, I don't like, know. I just bows. kind of assume that there's like a longbow, like a, a weapons pile that's like by this door. Yeah, you've got you got time to grab supplies. There's like, like stuff. There. So um, basically, he's just gonna grab a longbow and then like. Yeah. And these these soldiers have longbows themselves, and they're like, um, kind of lining up out here. They they look at you a little confused. They do not recognize you, <laughs> but um, they probably will soon enough. Anyway, and like there's, I don't know, there's one staying on top of the tower up here. Um, anyway, 
So I suppose we can, like... We'll jump back to Worm. And then you guys can chime in with any questions you have while we're, like, while we're pirate-focused. Uh, so, yeah. So it's, like, yeah, back to Worm. You've, like, climbed into this rowboat, I assume you're going with. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you're, like, one of the, one of the last few in, and they're, like, you see that the through the fog, you can see these other rowboats, like, also uh, filling up from each of the other boats. There's probably, like, <clears throat> four or five in total. Um, each one, like, just kind of full. Um, as you're climbing in, there's, like, one of the... One of your commanding officer's buddies um, just, like, complaining. It's just like, I thought the trebuchets were damaged. I thought they weren't even up there. What? This is supposed to be smooth sailing. The commanding officer is just like, <laughs> what you complaining? You didn't want to see any action today? You get to take a keep? Reports say it's a skeleton crew up there anyway. There'll be no trouble. And yeah, you uh, shove off. They start like, calling out their uh, their rowing pattern, and you head into the mist. Um, and several minutes later, you feel the bump of the boat hitting the sh rocky shore, and they uh, they drag the boat uh, up, and it starts to kind of like regroup at the bottom of this this hill. <clears throat> um, quick, qu quick question. Yeah. How far is the uh, like castle wall? to the shoreline. I'm going to say, um, yeah, it's probably only a couple hundred, a few hundred feet, I think. Okay. <clears throat> Less than and 500, if that is your <laughs> question. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, Okay. Uh, More than 100. Is in about the, like, I don't know, 250 to 450 range. Something, something like that. Yeah, Sonus will fire um, an, an air ball. An air ball. First, give me a perception check to even... Because they're okay. still in the fog. The fog has, like, covered some of the shore. Yeah. And I think, I think, basically, no matter what you roll for perception, they're going to be at least obscured. Um, all you see, if, it, if you roll well, you can have seen, like, motion, and you can throw a air ball to approximately the right location. <clears throat> um... At, at zoom right in. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Why did it roll two? Oh, you must have just double clicked it. Okay. So. Wait, wait, what? Oh. Huh. It's okay. It happened to roll 20 both times. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. So. Um. Yeah, you don't see any signs yet of them like pulling the boats on shore but you can be ready to cast that once like once they become visible um that'll be fine do you want to stay where you are on the map or do you want to uh oh um it won't matter too much for this airball stuff but i'm just more curious oh so this is down there okay yeah. hey, uh, I'll, I'll be over like by oh okay that was that was smooth yeah. And then just teleport. <laughs> right. Yeah, Foundry does that. I wonder... I don't know. I like it, except when you drag a token, like, five miles, you know? <laughs> I wonder if I can speed like that. Like, your... Uh, it's actually kind of neat. I think it gives you, like, some real-time simulation. If yeah. If you ever find a way to, like, manage multiple groups of people at the same time. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um, anyway... So, um, Worm, what is your, uh... Okay, I have a couple of questions. First oh, one yes. you don't have to answer right away. I'm just... I'm curious if you know... You're here for a reason. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm curious if you know what... 
the artifact is that you're looking for, like what god it belongs to, or if you want to leave that to me, if you if you don't have any I, ideas. Uh, I would love to leave that to you. Okay. Uh, I think he would have been given a description, but he, <clears throat> like, whoever described it probably didn't know who it belonged to. Okay, um, that works. So I just, I'll give you a physical description once you, like, kind of get closer, mm -hmm. um, and leave it at that. So, all right. Um, yeah, in the in the meantime, he's kind of like grabbing people by the shoulder and shoving them towards the group and yeah. giving them the stay together. Yeah, they're 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 like grouping up. There's um, <clears throat> they all have like pretty big shields, uh, well, just full size shields, and they um, yeah, they're like getting in a formation. He's like, get those shields ready, get your shield arms uh, nice and braced. I think there's going to be some rain. And, um, yeah, they're like, they're going to move out. Do you, are you just um, going to follow the group for now? He is going to hold up the rear, uh, hit them like on the back as they pass by, like kind of the, uh, the go team, go team, go team. Mm -hmm. And as soon as they're passed, he books it perpendicular uh, out <laughs> yeah. to the side. He straight up abandons everyone. <laughs> uh, he is aiming for basically to the side of the fort along one of the towers if he can. Okay, um, give me just a a stealth roll. You don't have to roll particularly well. They're pretty distracted, and it's pretty foggy. I just need to find where they... They changed all these two pictures, and uh, now it's messing uh -huh. with me. All right, <laughs> stealth roll. Shoop. Um, all right. Let me just... Okay. So. <laughs> yeah, I think you're um you're kind of running perpendicularly, and most of the people don't see you. But there's uh there's <laughs> like one of the one of the people in the back, like the last guy you pat, um, he's like raising his shield, and they're all like everyone's yelling and starting to charge forward. Um, and then this guy, like, he raises his shield and we see him kind of like double take. He's like where are you, where, are you, where are you going? And he, like, kind of turns and runs after you. Stay with the group. I'm opening a flank. Uh, give him a, give a, give a, um, diplomacy check. <laughs> it's still pretty good. Um, okay. Yeah, he kind of, he hesitates for a minute, and he's like, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Seems uh, heavily fortified up there. And then he, he'll like turn around and uh, run back to the group. Uh, yeah, Warham just shakes his head and uh, kind of resets the sack on his shoulder and books it again. All right. So yeah, you. Um, this is going to be a harder path. Uh, it's definitely like steeper over this way. But yeah, you okay. you start like climbing I up this kind of. I cannot see anything. Right, there is there is basically nothing to see. But I'll move you to the correct orientation okay. anyway. Um, I'm so blind. This is okay. this is where you're roughly going to end up. But until then, yes, there's a lot of hill and slippery rock and and like yeah. Yep. That's what he expected. But his athletics are very good, so yeah, he, he's ready for it. He's there right. for it. Um, uh, give me a. Uh, just preliminary athletics check to see how you do on these rocks. I see I talked it up too much. Here we go. Nah, you're good. Yeah, that's pretty decent. That's really good, actually. Okay, so back to Solas and Sonus. Uh, you hear first the sounds of shouting on the beach, and then you see um, it's kind of like slightly obscured. There's like trees and rocks in the way. Like it's, it's not a straight line down to the beach. Um, but there's like just this crowd of i want to say like 30 to 40 people just like all shouting and like they're holding shields up above their head and they're uh, running towards and up the the rocky path below okay uh do we can we can see them now 
Yes, yeah, they run out of the fog. You hear them first, and then you see them, like, kind of emerging in a, like, kind of a a pretty tight formation. Yeah, Sonus is going <clears> to <throat> start blasting with, <laughs> with the, the airball. So anyway, on, <laughs> that's an inspire courage. <laughs> Um, and I'm trying to find my performance role because I have a lingering composition. I actually think I'm gonna. Can I can I cast haste this turn and then cast airball? Ah, uh, yeah, you can do that. Well, no, you can't. Well, it won't matter. You've got time to cast an airball. Okay. <clears throat> so ten plus seven is 17, so this is actually a pass. Oh, okay, cool. Even though I rolled a two. <laughs> <laughs> and the, uh, uh, this is to lingering inspire? Yeah, okay. so this is three rounds of plus one, plus one. Awesome. Very nice. All right. So yeah, all the soldiers, they knock arrows, and then Sonus, you um, fire off your air ball. Yeah, we're just gonna... <clears throat> all right. <laughs> So, um, what's your DC? 25? <clears throat> Anyone? So they're, all right. And what's the range? What's the width of it? Um, 20 foot burst. 20 foot burst. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I assume you, you just target this right in the middle of them, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I'm gonna roll a lot of things. Okay. Twenty foot burst. So they're in more or less a line. It's a little wide. Um, twenty feet is four tiles. Let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Nine, and then like three. All right, anyone who rolls less than a um, 17 on this just dies. Monka W. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. All right, so. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> I saw That's quite a, a lot of dead people. Two yeah. people saved. <laughs> out of all of that. <laughs> So, oh, we're so does somewhere jump up to level twenty. <laughs> <laughs> somewhere off to your right, Worm, you hear the battle cry of everyone, just the the din, just the oh, of like the your companions running, and then you hear just, ah, just, just there's this this explosion, and then you hear like steel and shields and bodies just like, so as you see. This wind ball wind up and like spread out and just these pirates just go flying. <laughs> um, and the remaining like, <laughs> the remaining like 15 of them that didn't immediately get destroyed by that are like pressing up against like the rock face. And they're like scattering to not get AOE down like that again. <laughs> And uh, the sound of confident battle cry has been replaced by just panicked shouting. <laughs> do, I, um, do I roll damage or anything? Or you can roll the damage. Okay. A lot of these guys are minionified, so... Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, so all the scrubs, it doesn't really matter. There's a lot of, like, really basic soldiers in this mix. <clears throat> um, mm -hmm. So they just all immediately, like are at least unconscious um, or like debilitated or knocked off the path and like down the hill. Um, but yeah, they have now spread out and learned from their mistake of packing so tightly, which will make them, they no longer have full cover for like being shot at. Ignore that, that was okay. a mistake. So like they're easier to pick off with arrows, but no longer, like you'll probably only be able to hit one or two if you have follow up air balls. Okay. Um, can I cast another spell? Or how, how, 
You have, let's see. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how we're determining <laughs> actions right now. Yeah. Um, let me think. So they have like approximately, I think they've got like 75 feet of movement per turn. Um, <clears throat> all right. Uh, yes, you can cast more spells. Uh, you've got like, I'm gonna say five turns of spell casting and like just firing arrows. Um, they still have cover. Uh, yeah. Partial cover to a lot of attacks and like the. How the... far would. Go ahead. Sorry, how, how far would you say they are from, from me? Yeah, well, they're like, um, they're starting like kind of 250 out ish. And they'll like go down by roughly 50 foot increments as they're like taking slightly inefficient paths up the hill to, um, Okay, Conan, uh, Jesus. Sonus is going to cast, um, Wall of Wind. Ah, yes, okay. Yeah, so that's just gonna... I think that just slows them down a little, if I remember. Um, yeah, they, I think it's like they take... Just some... <clears throat> negative circumstance penalties or whatever. Okay. It would stop arrows and stuff, though, from getting through, which could be handy. True. Um, it will make it slightly harder to, like, peg them with, uh, with arrows and projectiles. Like, in a very specific line that I can't draw because this map is too small. <laughs> uh... Yeah, it's five feet thick, 60 feet long, and 30 feet high. <laughs> okay. And I assume you're just putting it, like, in the path, and they have to, like, push against it. Yeah. Okay. Um, creature can move through the wall normally. I don't even want to roll the saves for everyone. Uh, so the people that are left, mechanically speaking, uh, there's, like... You see the there's like the guy in the lead uh, who did not get hit by the air ball and like there's a couple of other people with slightly a lot of these shields were very basic. Um, a lot of the shields that are left are a little more like decorative or like um, a little more put together and the people who are left are moving with some like some skill kind of a weaving a little bit to make it harder to get hit with arrows and such. So, anyway. The first few of these are going to have higher saves. Uh, I'm just gonna roll this in GM, I'm sorry. Let's see. 18, 20. Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> feet away from the wall. All right, so <clears throat> a good half of them? Let's see, your DC for this is still 25? Um, for uh, wind wall? Wall of wind? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Um, yeah, a good half or so of them are able to push through uh, without, without incident. Um, remaining movement. Oh, let's see. The creatures attempting move over land through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay. There is exactly one person who, like, you see him push against the wall with his shield, and the, the like, side current of the wall, the, the gust of wind, like, pushes him off. Pushes him off the path. <laughs> and he goes tumbling down the hill. Um, everyone else kind of either slowly or quickly pushes through the wall. Also, um, the soldiers are going to start, like, firing arrows. <clears throat> Solus, you can as well, if you have, you know, stuff along those lines, uh, you'd like to do. 
I just assume that they're out of range of my short bow, so. Out of range of your short bow, yeah. You said you picked up a long bow? Yeah, so this is, uh, this should be made, this is made with plus two. Okay, and what is the, sorry, I'm... what's the range increment of a long bow? Is it 100, 150? I think I don't it was recall. 100, 300. 100 through, oh yeah, okay. Whoops. Again, I accidentally opened on the long screen. Okay. Um, yeah, so go ahead. I might be mixing up two different <laughs> games. <laughs> I know they have like a, a something of a dead zone. Uh, well, the right. dead zone is inside 100 feet, and, and then I think 100 to 200. Of... Okay, so the first shot. I don't know. You have plenty of arrows, um, but the yeah. first shot is going to be outside of the first range increment, which I believe gives you a minus two. That's fine. This is still going to be made with uh I'm still only going to take one shot, so it is made with plus two because of Aegis Patience. Okay. And I guess I should have asked. Um, you're definitely trained with longbows too, right? So that's... Yeah, this is actually... So I don't know why... It... Oh, what the... I accidentally held down a... So it's like plus an additional seven, nine, probably eleven. Um, that'll that'll definitely hit. Um, are you just? Um, I should have asked this before. Are you That's aiming at anyone a... in particular? Uh, uh, not particularly. I don't believe. Um, okay. I I imagine that like Salas can't really see like anybody specific it's right. probably just like whoever is coming through it all first is who he's hitting you know yeah yeah basically that makes sense um okay all right uh, uh quick question yes. with the with the skill increases is it you pick two skills or is it just one uh it's just it one skill okay okay so you can level one skill to master or you can level any other skill. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, like, let's... if you already have a skill at master, you can't level it again to till fifteen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So like, you kind of, I guess, you're so like this is five damage. Yeah. There's a guy. There's like a couple people out in front. You peg one of them, and he like. Let's out a cry and slows down a little. Um, how much damage? It's five. Okay, gotcha. Because yeah, yeah. everybody is shooting here with plus one. <clears throat> yep. Uh, let's see. And we'll roll for the other six. Uh, okay. Only one of your soldier friends hit. Um, again, deals like wow, deals eight to one of the one of the folks out front as well. Uh, so, and worm. So again, you hear that cry as you're like coming out of the fog and climbing this hill on the side. You rolled really well on your athletics, correct? Uh, yes, I believe it was a 32. Okay. Well, um... <laughs> okay. You're making pretty good progress. Let's see. Let's think about this. Yeah, you're pulling your way up. Um, the, I'm gonna ask you for one more stealth check as... And I click and I click and I find the right section. All right, 22. 22 is pretty good. Okay, yeah. So, like, you're pretty, on top of being speedy and strong, you are um, climbing without knocking too many rocks loose. Uh, you're very, like, careful with your footing. And you go undetected uh, for the moment. So we'll, like, leave that. Kind of keep that stealth roll. Maybe. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> All right. And
And yeah, you guys have a uh, solo. You have like another. You and the soldiers have another round of stuff, I guess. After uh, after Sonus is like fireball and airball or uh, air wall. I was looking for the thing. I was like, man, I'm trained in this shit. Like, <laughs> okay, I found it. I did it. I did the thing. I will say the guy you shot on his turn as he's like running forward. Um, <laughs> you see, him, you see him like pull the arrow out of his uh, out of his like side, and then suddenly that guy uh, disappears. I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I guess if I can't shoot him, I'll just shoot somebody else. Hmm? Sure. Maybe it'd be better. This is a twenty-nine. I think actually he like turns into mist himself. He goes into gaseous form. So he's technically still shotable, but harder than everyone else. Um, but I will uh, continue to assume that you shot at someone else. And yeah, um, that definitely lands. You hit the same guy that the one successful soldier hit last turn. Um, gets another another arrow in him. It's not quite enough to knock this guy down. Um, but do, do, do. Uh, so this shot is made at minus three. Okay. And this is now within your range increment. It's like uh, a, under uh, 200 feet. So. So. I'm attack. I attacked. I am now going to take it double the time to aim a shot, which gives me plus two. Okay, cool. Plus three. So this is actually minus two. This shot is minus two. Okay, so it's at a 21? Yep. Okay. That does miss this this front guy. It, like, plants into his uh, his shield. Um, okay. And then, let's see here. Here we go again. Bad rolls. One of them just like straight up snaps a bowstring and uh, swears <laughs> and goes to retrieve another bow. Um, he's gonna like lose a turn. Sonus and Solus, you guys can take another like round of actions. Uh, three more any... until they kind of like reach the wall. Do any of them happen to be in a line? No, they're pretty spread out now. And, like, drawing a line from up here, down there, and catching more than one is not going to be very viable. How many would you say there are? I would say there's... There's 15 still running, and one of them turned into, a, like, a ball of gas. <laughs> if, if I somehow manage to end up on one of their sides, would they be in enough of a line? If you jump down there? <laughs> Correct, you yeah. could draw a line then. <laughs> Do it. I'm fading on it. <laughs> so how many actions do I have technically? Four. One, oh, but only one of them can u be used to move or attack. Okay. Right. So, like, you have your regular amount of actions, then you have your bonus action from haste, which can only be used to move or make a strike. How high up? You said you said the wall was twenty feet. Yeah. If I jump, would I get hurt? <laughs> if you jump, jump? If you jump down 20 feet? Uh, yeah, I think it's like 1d6 every 10 foot increment. And you can reduce it with like cat fall and stuff, but I almost certainly, you almost certainly don't have it, so. <laughs> I do think you had the option for something on the relic, on your feather glove, your talon glove, that was. Yeah, yeah, I did. I just didn't. Oh, you think didn't take that, that one? Be yeah. Useful. Fair. I, I, I just didn't see myself like having to deal with much fall damage situation. Mm -hmm. I really suppose I should look at the 
the level four spells, but that's fine. I will do that. Also, it's a very yeah. steep hill if you jump down the wall. You will not automatically hold your footing once you hit the ground if you, like, just jump down. Okay. Um... Also, yeah, they're, like, they're, yeah. They're 200 feet away, so it'll take some moving to, like, get down there. <laughs> so I just want to say I found a feat that I could possibly take that allows me to run on water. <laughs> um, and uh, I'm very intrigued by that. But anyway. <laughs> um... Shockingly hard to search fall damage on Aeon. What you got? I think I'll cast another, uh, like air ball. Just okay. Trying to hit as many people as possible. Uh, as many people as possible will be like two. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna cast Elemental Motion, okay. and I'm gonna like run down there and just go fight somebody. All right. So Elemental Motion is two actions to cast, I imagine. Mm-hmm. Unless I gave you another busted one-action spell. Um, <laughs> okay. So there's that. And then, how much like movement do you have with that? What is your fly speed? I don't know if Elemental Motion necessarily gives me. I don't think it increases your speed at all. I think it just lets you fly your normal speed. Yeah, so I have 30. Okay, so 60 total. You'll get, like, a third of the way there this turn, and they'll move closer to you as well. All right, so going to cast Elemental Motion. I then have two actions. Yeah. Um... One of which can only be used to move or strike. Yes. Right. You moved and you cast elemental motion. Yeah, so I'm just gonna there. I'm gonna move thirty feet closer to them. Yep. Um so like here, I think. Um About. Yeah, I'm gonna take you outside of real space. Okay. And uh Oh god. <laughs> and we'll okay. keep you inside, but you're gonna yeah, it's all gonna be like relative. Yeah, to... and then I'm gonna gonna whip the sword. Okay. Just at at somebody I can see. Oh, ignore the flying pirates, please. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't move you, him. Get him out of here. You said they right. turned to mist. There's I no reason wanna... they can't fly. Yeah, well, right. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it at the most decorated looking person. Um Alright. Yeah, there's like one guy out front who is the most decorated looking at the moment. Um uh oh, I've made a mistake here. Uh, there's, yeah. The guy who turned into mist was the most decorated, but now there's just a, another guy with, like, a, a big shield and a nasty-looking axe uh, running up the hill out front. He's gotten pegged with two arrows. Okay. Yeah, so I will... I'll do that. And I think it's a... Is it an attack? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I accidentally clicked it. That's my bad. Uh, okay, so I'll... You can, you I'll, can click it back in, yeah. My, my bad, my bad. Much better. All right, so that flies out. Roll your damage. It does, like... He's holding his shield up. He's expecting arrows to keep pegging him. <laughs> and then... Um, yeah, so, like... I guess? I don't know. This guy's pretty strong. Um, you do, like, your sword just smashes into his shield. Um, and, like, he, he knocks his arm out of the way and it, like, decks his shoulder. And then it flies back to you. He's still, he stumbles a little bit, but he is still running. He's taken a total of around 30 damage. I need to tabulate at this point. <laughs> okay. And and just to just to put out there, I'm like floating in the air right now, kind of like a decent bit above the ground. 
Okay. Yeah. So let's see. He took eight, and then three, eleven, and then. Um. And then you're 16. So yeah, he's taken 27 damage, the guy out in front. The rest of them have taken none, uh, except the one guy who turned into mist. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead. Sorry, I was messing around with the, like, the, like, status markers. That's pretty neat, actually. Oh, yeah, the status markers are cool. Do you mind if I run to the restroom real quick? You guys can keep going. I nope, just... you can't use the restroom. Oh. Uh -huh. oh. Take a round. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah, that's fine. No, Okay, I'll be, I'll be right back. Uh... Hmm. <clears throat> I don't know, you said the guy turned into mist, right? So. Yeah, the one. I am going to take an Age of Space in the shop. So this is made at plus 15. Plus 15, okay. So this adds three to it. So it's uh, 23. Or okay. 24. And is that at. Okay, so there's like, guy that's gotten pegged a lot, um, mist guy, and then a bunch of people who haven't gotten hit at all. Are you still. Firing at yeah, what well, a guy turned into mist. He's probably some kind of trouble. I just don't like him, you know. Yeah. <laughs> this is seven. Uh, and and this is at this is at. Sorry, mist guy. Boy. Oh, yeah. the mist one. Okay. All right. Um. Give me one moment. I'm sorry. I. Th I think. I think that might be a miss. Give me a minute. What the? There it is. Oh, gaseous. Duh. Oh, it loses AC. Never mind, it does hit. Um, but it has resistance to physical attack, so it does not take any damage from that. So the arrow, oh, like, okay. disperses, like, it flies through the mist, it disperses some, but then it kind of, the mist reforms. Um, totally fine. But he's also, like, moving, he's moving slower than the rest of the group, but he's kind of, like, just going directly up the hill. Um... Uh, hmm. At like 30 feet around instead of the like 50 ish feet that everyone else is moving. It lasts so long. Uh, can I make a check to see? So. Never mind. I'm just okay. going to assume it doesn't work the way I think it works and then uh, just assume that it's a much better version of the spell I think it is and not worry about it. And then I'm going to do a thing. Ah, yes. Okay. I feel so dumb because, like, And that is a critical success. Oh, sick. Admittedly, I get a critical success on a... Not a, not a big number. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's my turn. Okay, cool. This is, uh, another four rounds of plus one hit and plus one damage. Awesome. Okay. All right. Um... Well, your buddies take some shots, and then everyone's going to move 50 feet closer. It'll be 100 feet from the gate. Um, this is all, like, kind of winding back and forth at this point. Let's see. Roll. I said one was losing his turn. 
These guys suck. One hits. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Guy out front takes another... Um, actually, I, I guess it should be six. Takes six damage from that shot. Um, he's now at, like, 30. What did I just say? Is that... Yeah. Okay, so he's at, like, 32 damage. Ah, shit. Sorry. Okay, um... And they, like I said, they all move up. The mist form is, like, going straight up the hill, like I said. Um... And everyone else proceeds... Some weird token stuff happening. Uh, okay. And then... Worm, since you're kind of actually taking a more direct route, and since you rolled really well, I think this is the <laughs> turn that you, like, get to the top. Like, get to the base of the wall over there. Mm-hmm. Probably a little... less breath than you started with, but you're there. Um, and what are you doing from there? All right, uh... Hearing the uh, the initial screams and everything, he kind of just sighs and he's rubbing off the uh, the paint that made him look like he was part of the crew, and oh, you yeah. can see it's just chalk. <laughs> like nice. he had, he had just put it on there briefly, uh, and you can see now a little bit better that he has a few interesting shinier bits, uh, and he is going to uh, stow his weapon and shield and uh, get ready to climb the wall. I don't know in terms of how many actions all the stowing and stuff takes. Okay, uh, we can say that takes like one one round and you'll be good to climb okay. uh, next time. Yeah, he is next prepared. Uh, is this area that's kind of the whole corner, uh, is that open to the air? Uh, yeah, it's like, um, uh, there's like, yeah, it's a tower and it's taller than the rest of the wall. Okay. Um, but yes, it is like it does appear to be open to the air on top. There's like a great correlations and junk up there. So, a diggity. All right, then yes, he is getting ready to climb. All right, uh, it would be back to Connor, but um, and everyone moves. Like I said, they move fifty feet forward and everything. Um. I guess specifically, by the way, this mist guy seems like he's heading towards, like, this, like, window. Uh, which window? The, uh, the window on this tower over here, that's, like, the kind of, um... Wonderful. Yes. So, Solus and soldiers can go, if you would like. So they're short for range now, right? <laughs> They're uh, hitting 100 feet. Yeah, they're uh, yes. I'm not doing super appropriate triangulation here, but they're like 100 this feet is... from the door, which definitely puts them in range of your shortbow. Yeah, this is just a lot more damage, so. Yeah. <clears throat> Dang. Yeah. Uh... All right, who are you shooting at? I should have asked this, this before again. Miss man? Uh, I think this is yeah, this is still the same guy. Alright. Well my short bow is much better. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> uh, Alright. So he he resists nine of that physical damage and then still just gets like <laughs> uh the the short bow arrow just like plows through him. And like the the whole form, like mist is knocked okay. away, his whole form like kind of shudders, um, and uh, and he keeps flying. But man, it it like takes him a minute to recoalesce his gaseous form. Uh, Connor, you said you're back. Yep. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, Solus just shot a short bow at, um, at Mistman and crit, so. Okay. Uh, yeah, so, what are you doing? You were, uh, you are able to, they were, let's see, you moved 30 feet forward. They moved 50 feet forward. They are, you're, they're like 70 feet away, f less than that. You can get to them in two actions with your current speed. Okay. Um, can I move, um, like, can I move off to the right side of them? Off to the right side of them, yes. I will, um, so let's see. This guy, hold on. This guy is separate. This is, he needs a different name. Looks like he's pirate to me. He is not pirate. Also, I doesn't he take full damage from my bow because my bow is actually magical? I, you might be right. I will be right back. Okay. Uh, it's physical damage reduction, but my bow is magical. You are probably correct. Let's see. How much damage did you do? So you had four. It's 34. 37. <laughs> 38 total damage. He's all right. Oh, wait, that's the wrong. Oh, no, it's the right character. Okay. He's named. He is. Also, he has a friend next to him, and I still have an, I still have an action. The, the friend next to him is not actually next to him. Uh, okay, well, I still have an action. I, I still have two actions, so. Yes, he's, uh, I guess, let's see. All of these guys should roughly be in shortbow range of you, yes? Why did I, why was I moving this guy here? Why was I moving this guy here? I should, like, here, let me, uh, let me globally illuminate so I can, like, Let's get rid of token vision so you guys can see the gray outside world. Um, okay, so. Holy shit, that's a lot of dudes. It is a lot of dudes. That is the 14 that aren't Mist Man. Um, and they're all like kind of spread out, roughly like such. So, Connor, you can do with that what you will. Well, that's lame. What are they standing on, hmm? <laughs> They're standing on a path that I didn't have drawn. <laughs> Rocks and dirt and mud and grass. <laughs> That's what they're standing on. I mean, I'm, I'm, mostly, I'm mostly joking, but, you know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm going to be blasting Mr. Mistman. All right. Make me a meme. Make it the loudest I've ever seen. Oh. Is this some? Oh yeah, sound burst. I see. I see. I see. Um, I'm to send to this guy's justice next All right. Uh, oh wait, what? Oh, oh, I was so confused. I was messing around with my ruler, and then the dice rolled, and I was like, "What?" So he has to make a fort save. Yeah. He sucks. Um, True. So he he taken maximum damage. Yes, so that was, how much? 15? 15. Wow, flat average. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so he's, he is up to 53 damage taken. <laughs> Jesus Lord. Again, this sound burst, like, the mist just kind of goes flying and like recoalesces and, and, and shudders and he's not having a great time. Uh, <laughs> Poor Misty Man, indeed. <laughs> Misha uh -oh. is appreciating your very strong arrow, by the way. Yeah. Um. <laughs> what are you doing to my distraction? <laughs> well, there's still there's still 14 distractions, even yeah, if there oh, are thank still God. 14 other distractions. Even if Mr. Knight dies. Um. <laughs> okay, so Sonus is going to fire up Airbolt in like this direction. Okay, so yeah, you land on the. All right, sure. Yeah. Um, I'll even let you hit the fourth one. Cool. The fourth one way out here. Oh no, the fourth one right here. Okay, I Let's see. Let's see. And the DC, it's reflex save, yeah? Uh, yeah. Oh, these pirates are just kobolds and trench codes, basically. All right. 
I forgot to tell you what they needed to roll to beat you, but it's basically 18 or above. Two of them save for half damage, uh, and two of them are dead. You can tell me... Well, actually, no. The middle two are dead. My, well, it does, does it go off my DC? Yes. Okay, yeah, so it would be the 25. Yeah, yeah. They're rolling okay. plus... They're rolling plus sevens, these guys. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, cool. So yeah, I will mark this guy as injured, and one more hit will kind of take him out. <laughs> My favorite thing is that all of <laughs> the qu like, question mark. Yeah. <laughs> Assign status um, effect. Um, do you he want is me to broken. Roll damage? Or no? uh, it, it really doesn't. These guys are basically minions, so like AoE Which damage will take half anyway. their. All right, you can roll it for your own fields. So that's fine. Yep. <laughs> so like, uh, I just assume, yeah, they're like, they're, they're injured by any damage and they're any AoE damage, and then they're killed okay. by any. Okay. Also, player. yeah, I didn't move to hit these people, so I I still. You two did move hit. to hit these people. No. I, no. Connor, this is not where they literally are. Oh. You had to move two spaces, you had two moves to like get in range to line this up. <laughs> Whack. <laughs> I apologize. No, no, it's fine. I understand. <laughs> I, I just got thrown off by there not being an actual map. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Airpult, why uh, the question marks? Uh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's because it's lightning yeah. bolt, but it's the it's it's like what was it? Conco no. Ble bludgeoning damage. It's like a wind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I really wasn't sure what to name anything. Yeah. It's getting converted to his element, which is air, Question but not mark. lightning air. It's like bludgeon air. Anyway. <laughs> uh, right. And then six guys. Six guys fire some, some bows. I'm about oh, to get okay, ruined. Not at you. These are these are your friends. Um oh yeah. Okay. So that's three D eight. Yeah, right. You they're get hit they're... hit in the back by three bows. Um <laughs> They all thought I was an enemy. So the guy out front takes another eight damage. He's up to forty total. Uh <laughs> they made blunt force llama. Uh, all right, and then I guess it would be back to um, uh, all of these guys. I guess like I don't know. Sonus, you're like down there on the ground, right? Like you landed on the path. I would say yeah, unless okay. I could have lined up a, a shot from the air. All right, so half of them are moving like another fifty feet. They're like coming around to the gate, right? <laughs> Then the other half are just gonna surround me. Correct. Uh, they're not rolling particularly well, or they're at, like they don't have super good rolls, but they sure can all move to you. Or at least like a couple of them can. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, so then like I guess four of them get beaten up. These are also going to be at plus seven. So there's a good chance they like pull out swords, move up, and they all get one attack. Um, no. Feels good. Just drops, but just falls on the ground. I think the 19 is the only one that hits, right? Yeah. Wow. I forgot what like low damage like looks like okay this guy deals three damage to you and that's it so you take three damage <laughs> uh, and then yeah worm it is uh back to you you have like shed your unnecessary gear stowed what you needed to and you are ready to ready to climb Uh, oh no, my, uh, shoot, fucking Discord. All right, that's my bad. 
My sound had a weird glitch a second ago and Discord like died, so I need to restart Discord. Okay. One moment, one moment. He's trying. Sorry I can about see that. He's trying. Yeah, oh, can, there you, he is. can you hear now? Um, yeah. Okay. F sorry. Sorry about that. F F's in the chat. Yeah, you took three damage. <laughs> All these guys ran up. One guy dropped his sword. Uh, and then one guy hit you. Actually, two guys. Like, one guy fell on his face. One guy dropped his sword. Wow, three people critically failed now that I look at it. One guy hit you, and you just parry everyone else. Two of them are on the ground, and one of them, like, his sword went flying down the hill, and he is unarmed. Is it my turn to react? And then, Worm, it is your turn. You have, like, shed your gear. You've stowed it away. You are you are <laughs> ready to climb if you want. Uh, he does want. Uh, he would like to climb up the wall. He is going to activate a... Uh... A small talisman, a little monkey trinket. Uh, what is it officially called? So I have it huh. right and get used to it. A monkey pin. He's got a little monkey pin attached to one of the cuffs of the gloves. And he activates that and attempts to climb. Is it a charm bracelet, Nathan? It's, Does it's he have a charm kind, bracelet? It, no, it it's a pin. It's there? a pin. It's not a, pin. It's, <laughs> it's not a bracelet because it has to be attached to the thing. Yeah. Uh, so he got a 28 on his athletics check. Uh, yeah, you'll be able to climb that this turn. So the monkey lets him move his full speed. Okay. When he climbs. So if it's a like a 30, 40 foot, he can get up there in two actions. Yeah, it's a 20 foot, so you can get up there in one action. Woo! Um, yeah. So you very quickly well, pull yourself up over there. Imagine castle that's not, you know, weak. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So just so I understand, is he at the same level as everybody when he pops over this? Yeah, you pull yourself up over the wall. Um, this is like a tower. This is higher than you. And that's then, like, what I was wondering. Would I be able to get up to the top of the tower? Yes. If you want to do that, you can. It's another 20 yes. feet up. It's uh, like okay, 40 fine. feet total. So yeah, yep. it'll just take two actions, I think, to get to the top of the tower. Yeah, correct. Yeah, that so you be. you start pulling yourself up, and you definitely see like this guy on top. <laughs> yes. Great. All right. Um, and that is uh, two of the actions then to get up there. Um, yep. For the last one, he would just like to uh, draw his uh, shield and sword. And with any remaining climb, he'd like to kind of hop down to the interior quietly, preferably. Oh, okay. Okay, I see what you were... Okay. I see we were talking about about it being open to the air. Okay. Um, right. Uh, so or feel free to wreck on a little bit. flat? Yeah, the whole top is like flat. Uh, and then there's like stairs in the middle that go down. Okay, no, that's uh, that's actually fine. Is he'll just kind of get over the edge, uh, and then basically do the crouch sneak as long as the guy is not looking at him. Yep, he's like pulling back his bow, letting loose an arrow down below, and uh, yeah. Yep, he's just gonna stay quiet for this turn and okay, uh, cool. Yeah, do something next turn and have his weapons out. All right. All right. Um. So then that goes back to Sonus and Solus. Where is Mr. Mistman? Mistman is one turn away from the window. Um, Sonus is going to float straight up uh -oh. <laughs> and blast an air ball right underneath him. All right. The DC <laughs> is 25. Yep. All right, they're still rolling plus seven. It's four, five, six. The first two will be the injured people. So even if, you know, they have to, they have to like crit <laughs> or they're just done. You are rolling like shit today, man. This yeah. is rough. So the two injured Feels ones. Good. Yeah, Actually. well, <laughs> two injured ones are gone. <laughs> uh, this guy is gone. They're all gone. They're all gone. All the pirates are gone. You you fly up into the air, 
throw an air ball straight down and blow them all away. So. <laughs> the mooks so have been dealt with. Probably look back at Solus and just like give a give a big thumbs up. <laughs> uh, Solus is just like not even looking at you and he's like commanding these troops to go to the front gate. <laughs> yeah. Fair. Um he sees you just like go up and he's just like he sees like the group of soldiers below you he's like oh, okay that's fine they're dead like <laughs> <laughs> all right so yeah you, you turn and you command all these guys um yeah. all right <laughs> all right so that's easy for five of them they just like say uh yes sir and they'll like start kind of moving um through this tower on up to the other um Kind of section up here. Okay, so who is oh, Lieutenant Knight? He is Miss Man. Oh, okay. Wait, can I, <laughs> I actually have one more action? Uh, yeah, you do have one more action. Can I hand to the apprentice but use the focus point for this? Um, because I, I think that's how yeah. it works. I get the I yeah. get the first one free and then I have to pay focus points. Yep. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna throw it right at Mister. Lieutenant Knight over there. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. And is this one just an attack? Yep. Okay. Holy Oh my shit. god. You crit? Monk the W. Nice. Poor one out for Mist Man. Jeez, Louis. Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so that's 54 damage? <laughs> Yeah? Yeah. He takes a total then of 107 damage and uh, <laughs> coalesces his mist form. Like, you blow through the mist form and, like, he becomes. His mist form reforms to become his, like, actual person. And you just see, like, oh, well, I, I don't know. Like, just every visible part of his skin is, like, bruised, basically, or, like, red, or just discolored. And he just falls like 30 feet like down to the ground to the rocks below. And he is he is he is a dead man. Um Man, that man was mega dead. Yeah. <laughs> no. That was my father, no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So <laughs> Solus what uh Oh no, I guess I don't you know. already you already like, shot and stuff. I didn't shoot, I just I didn't do You just commanded them. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah it's I your just turn. Okay. To the so, um, Wurm, you're you're oh. on the on the roof, right? That is correct. So as these other guys follow the command, this one that was like pulling a bow back, he like unknocks his arrow. <laughs> and then he turns, like to go to the stairs, and then like sees you. Cause you're just like crouching on the roof, right? <laughs> Yep, uh, basically was starting to move towards him, just uh, to sneak up on him. Uh, he's he looks at you confused and wide-eyed. He's like, there, there's just a moment of hesitation. He's like, <laughs> kind of looks over his shoulder. <laughs> it's like, are you with the other two? Absolutely, <laughs> everything going great around here. <laughs> Can you give me a. Give me a diplomacy check. <laughs> uh, that is the like same a... as deception, so... Yeah, deception, yeah, sorry. Sounds... So... Oh, crit. oh my god! He nods. He's like... All right. The, uh, the rest of these pirate scum are heading to the front gate. And then he, like, goes and runs down the stairs. <laughs> uh, wait, before you go... Uh, I'm, I'm here looking... Uh, we're supposed to get this, uh this artifact thing while we are here. Uh, do you remember where we put it for, uh, we just got here? Uh, we're only, he looks confused again, <laughs> like kind of scratches his head. He's like, we're only, we only have access to the outside barracks. We, we can't go in, into the keep proper. We don't have the, the keys anymore. That's, I thought they, and he kind of like points a thumb over his shoulder and raises an eyebrow. I, th I thought your companions had the key. Not always a Sharon soul. Well. He nods. 
I get that. Withholding secrets. Happens all the time with these adventuring types. Like starts going down the stairs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then yeah, so as the soldier like comes out this door. Um Alright. And then yeah, it'll be back to like your turn there. Like your actual full turn. Um great for that turn. Um Oh sorry, he... I'm giving giving Solus his turn. Uh oh Solus's first. turn. Yeah, yeah. Ah, very good, very good. Uh, right, I nice think I Solace just thing. waits here. Just in case. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> well, I don't know. Like, the thing is, like, I don't want to make it, like, because I don't know about Warhome. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I, yeah, this soldier comes out of the door. He doesn't say like, anything about it. Um, it does, like, the thing is, like, it does, like, it feels particularly thorough to just, like, sit here and be like, I hope another, like, attacking force isn't coming, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, look out at the bay for a moment down the hill. Um, <laughs> sure. Let's see. So then, okay, I said they moved yeah, and so. attacked you last time. So, uh, all these other pirates, the last, uh, six, they're, like, moving up to the gate right now, one of which has been rather heavily injured, and the others are some of the more sturdy uh, folks. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, the first one comes around the corner. He just yells, just... Shit! Night didn't, Night didn't get the gate open! Uh, there. They're, like... Yeah, it's starting to kind of come around this corner. About him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about that. Uh, uh, so these, like, the top of these towers are open to air, right? So I can just dimension door to the top of one? <laughs> yeah. Yep. <sighs> awesome. I would love, if you have any idea what that looks like, is it just kind of like a blink? Uh... So like you know how like all of Solace's spells have like a like dark purple purpley silver mist like his body basically disperses into that and then he appears at the top. Awesome. Okay. I love it. Uh. Okay. And then I will shoot down at uh, Rook. All right. So this is a twenty-seven. Ah, that does hit. I think he might not be long for this world either. But a little longer than that. Um, damn. All right. So yeah, he's up to 46 damage taken total. And then... Wow, that I'll... is a long... <laughs> sorry, I was just oh, like reading the, the thing. The code, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, the code. <laughs> I, yeah. Yeah. Um, Worm, go ahead. Um, Worm is looking over. He knows they don't have the keys. Um, but he, uh, he takes out a hat. Uh, actually, that's not quite true. He will go downstairs. Okay. Uh, pop a squat on one of those, uh, those uh, crates pull out a hat and start uh, using his hat of disguise. Uh, but it takes a minute to go, so... A minute? All right, so the rest of this combat... Just keep on rocking, yeah. All right. <laughs> sure. Um, all right, so then, I guess... Uh, I guess it's technically back to... I lost some of the track of the order a little bit. I guess technically it's back to Sonus' turn. Yeah, it's on this turn. I, I really enjoy how fluid this comment has been, actually, but... Yeah, it's... <laughs> I've liked um, it. It's uh, it's unintentional, but I think it's enjoyable, you know? Yeah, it's had to be a little bit freeform because of the math limitations. <laughs> <laughs> um... What is there to really... And conveniently, oh, Solus, you, you notice that these last six pirates appear to be the hardiest of the bunch, aside from maybe Miss Man. Miss Man was... Rip. Was something. Yeah. I mean, like, um... he took two crits. 
We're gonna we're gonna just fly right over here. Oh, whoops. Yeah, for the the sake of convenience, I'll say that the grid is approximately correct now <laughs> for you. Oh, was it? Is it not actually? No, no, it's fine. You like you flew up into oh. the air. You, you're you're good. It's good. It's all good. Lucky. Um. Oh god, they're grouped again. How many times? They're in a I... line, my boy. <laughs> yeah, these are not smart pirates. They do not learn from failure. <laughs> All right, I guess Admittedly, we're gonna, uh, I this guess is we're like a fort. It's cast. designed to follow people, so it's understandable, you know. True. I'm gonna cast. Uh... Oh wait. <laughs> I actually think I might be out of. <laughs> that level of spell. I wouldn't be surprised if you've shot a few off. Here, let me quickly look at level four spells. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm not gonna make you wait. Um, I should have had that ready already. So. Are you uh, you're out of focus points? No. Okay. Yeah, actually. So I'm gonna. Wait, this is this is not a, a range, I think. For a no, that's just lands off square. Oh, ignore that. Uh, Sonus is going to cast Hand of the Apprentice again for another focus point. Uh, uh okay. Launch it right at Rook. That's a good plan. That is hit. Cool. Uh, <clears throat> not the best damage. It's pretty okay. He's still like getting rocked. He has taken sixty-two total, and that yeah, that like knocks him back. He's these are like uh, steps going up here into kind of this this kill room that isn't actually fully occupied, but like up to this gate. Um, yeah, he like stumbles on the stairs a bit, lets out a, a shout, frustrated yell, um, and then I think see, the people surrounded you last turn. Then you moved. That's on us. I, th I think that I, I guess think like the... yeah. So this is, you can go, and then the soldiers will go. In this time, I should really look at spells. Uh, Ooh, the plant re <clears throat> That's a mess. Ah, uh, yes. Oh my god, yes. This sounds great. Huh? <laughs> Only a five foot burst? What? <laughs> That's whack. Uh, I mean, a five foot burst is pretty big. Yeah. I'm just saying. The fireball's 20. A uh, spell that is intentionally designed to be overtuned is a very poor way to base a spell. Like, determine another spell. Mm, that's maybe not the song I was looking for. Possibly. Possibly not the one. <laughs> Oh boy, I'm really gonna, I'm gonna go for speak with plants. Hey, never, I don't know. Can, I can grow spikes out of the ground. What? Sorry, I was I was looking at this, like staff rules. Ah, uh, yeah. Cool. They are a little confusing. It like oh. it has like charges and. Yes. I don't remember how many charges it gets by default. I know you, you have a little more flexibility in giving it charges because you're a spontaneous caster. Yeah. Um... I 
I guess I'm just gonna cast. Oh, I, de I de this. I'm definitely taking this spell. <laughs> This is not exactly, that's not 30 feet. Um, I'm just going to make a second attack, I think. Okay. Uh, but I'm going to aim. So this is minus three. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, well then. That is technically a crit fail, but I'm not going to... Correct. All right, and that's my turn. Oh, I'm going to roll your beat. Okay. All right. Um, so this soldier kind of comes up next to Solus, runs up the stairs, knocks a bow. The other one is making his way there, ends up on top of the roof. Um, the others will all go ahead and take a shot. Uh, they don't really have a good line of sight on Rook right now, so they're just going to, like, top two at the top pirate, top front pirate. Bottom two of the bottom front pirate. Um, <clears throat> only one hits. Oh, material. That's too bad. So top one took. No, no, no. Bottom one took um, seven damage. Okay. Wait, what? And then, what let's see, Sonus, you already went. Okay. <clears throat> so, let's see. When something says material, does does that mean it requires like an item? Uh, material component, yes, but uh, frequently. Like, does it list something specific? Does it list, like, a value? No, it doesn't tell me anything. It just says, like, M, just material. Yeah, it, it's it's in the casting cost. It says material, yeah. somatic, and verbal. Yeah, so that just means you have to, like, interact with a spell pouch to cast it, but since you're a sorcerer, you might have something that means you don't have to. I'm not really familiar with sorcerers in this edition. Oh, or okay. Um, but yeah, you see Rook. Uh, he, like, steps up to this. And he, he's got this big axe, right? In the one hand, shield in the other. He like raises his axe to the side and he says some kind of command word. And you see that there's like a, a trinket hanging off of it that dissolves as he says this. And then he drops his axe just on the stone right here. Let's see, what's he got? Probably an 11. Okay. Uh, and yeah, the wall just collapses inward. Um, like the stone just like crumbles and explodes into this, into this room over here. This like guard room, kill room thing. Um, so, he has made an entrance. Let's see what color is this? My free hand. Stroke with yeah okay here we go. I'm not used to drawing in Foundry. Um so whoop. it's still green. That's fine. That that wall is now no longer a thing. Um. And everyone else is going to start like moving into that room, and into the fort. Let's see. Okay, yeah. So, what is the approximate range here? It's like two moves for everyone to get in there, except maybe this guy. This guy gets one move in there. If Wurkham is able to hear them uh, breaching the area, he might do something. Okay. Um. Yeah, you, d you definitely hear, like crumbling, kind of exploding st and clattering stone. 
Uh, did he know that the plan was to like break through that guard entrance? Uh, he might have like. Mm. So the plan was basically for Mist Man to come in and like uh, get through one of the windows and just like hit the crank to open the gate. Um, and kind of the assumption was that he was going to be like tough enough to fight these like <laughs> skeleton crew soldiers. Um, so th that sound kind of means that they've yeah gone with plan B <laughs> and taken out one of the walls to get inside. Okay. Uh, yeah, if he hears that, he will kind of assume that it's even enough that he's not sure which side will win anymore, and he is just gonna give up on the disguise and right. head head out through into the main area. Okay, sure. Um, yeah. So let's see. I'm gonna say it takes one move to like get down to the actual ground floor. Mm -hmm. Um, this is like this tower is like three stories through this spiral stairway, and then you can come out this you know. From this square, uh, you can move your movement however you want. Uh, With he's... two actions left, basically. Gotcha. Uh, d -d 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 -d. Would he be able to get into the door? Uh... Or at least to the door? Yeah, you'll be able to get to the door. I don't know. Uh, you're like, right. And then you can, like, you know, it's like an interact action to open doors. So uh, you'll, like, get up yeah. to it. You'll turn the handle. It'll be unlocked. Perfect. Yep. He'll be starting his way through the door. Okay. Uh, keeping an eye on all these guards up here. Yeah. And then Sonus and Solus, it'll be back to your turn. My castle! Yeah, they, uh, <laughs> so, so this Rook guy walked up, raised his axe, said a command word, and this, like, trinket on his axe dissolved, and then he brought his axe down, and this wall, uh, wall disintegrated, basically. And you still have a good line of sight on Rook. So does like so does uh, Sonus and the guy next to you, but the others have to like reposition basically. Yeah, unfortunately, you have set them up for a perfect sound burst. <laughs> well then. <laughs> all right. So DC twenty five fortitude saves. They're all going. These guys are slightly tougher. They're going to be rolling plus nines on their fort saves. Um, except for Rook, who's got slightly more. Uh, so none of them save! Oh, wait, well, the 18 saves. So, starting from the top left. The 18 saves, uh, <laughs> so he takes 8 damage. Yeah. Okay. Um, but the rest of them take 16, and they're all deafened. Wonderful. All right. Uh, and that does hit, uh, Rook as well, right? Uh, no. It's, okay. uh, it is only a 10 foot burst, so it only hits these pirates. Okay. Oh, this guy takes a little more. He's got... What the? What the? Okay. I can do math. All right, there we go. Then, uh... <laughs> 16, 23. Oh. Hey, you! Uh, give, uh... I guess you are... Let's see, so you sound burst, and then what are you doing with your, like, other action after that? Uh, get down from the top, because they're gonna come in through the inside door like <laughs> yeah okay so i think it's pretty reasonable as you like turn away from the door to be able to see worm uh unless like <laughs> uh do you think that's fair naven yeah that's fine okay. he was he was hustling to move there but you know sometimes you just don't make the hustle yeah <laughs> the second time that you've like gotten exactly one square away from being hidden <laughs> yep i mean it doesn't help He's a big guy. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, so as you can basically... Let's see. Oh, I guess... Never mind. I was going to say you can jump down for free and it won't take damage, but, like, the tower is 20 feet up from the wall, which is 20 feet up from the ground, so... No, Fall damage well. Uh, 
roll your damage dice, and I will uh, land my acrobatics check to make sure I don't fall. Okay. Uh, I think it is just 1d6 per 10 feet, right? Or 1d6 uh, per 10 feet beyond 10 feet? You are the dungeon master. Yes, well, fall damage doesn't happen much. I'm going to say you take 4 damage. <laughs> and then, yeah, your acrobatics is totally fine. Um... Am Let's I able see. to get into the room with all the pirates? You still have some elemental motion, right? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah you can hop in there if you want. <laughs> you can fly past Rook. Cool. I'm excited. Are you? <laughs> it is your turn, so you can go ahead and do it. All right, going to fly right in there. Okay. And, uh, okay. Anne is going a little slow right now, and it's making me seem like a slower GM than usual, when really I was always this slow, but... Oh, wait, is this, is this a cone? Is what a cone? <laughs> He's asking if... Uh, oh, I, I, was ask, I was asking if this tool was a cone. Oh, yes. So, cones are going to be... You can hit, like, from where? Hmm. Okay, yeah. If you're, like, one step back, if you're, like, right here, then you, I think, can cone to hit all of this. So if I'm, like, here? Yeah. It's a 30-foot cone. You'll be fine, then, yeah. But also... Cool. Like, a 30-foot cone is 30 foot at the very end. <laughs> what was that? Uh, like, 30-foot cones are, like, 30 feet at the very end of the cone, so, yeah. like... Yeah, so it would be, like... Oh, whoops. Oh, no. How do I get rid of those? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Oh, oh. I... I, I don't even know. know what you did. You made, uh, <laughs> made templates. So this, this would be a 30-foot cone. <laughs> Roughly, yeah. Oh, um, my goodness. I'm still gonna put you back one square here. Cool. Um, but also, Rook is definitely, like, swinging at you as you fly by. Can I hit him, too? No? <laughs> He's fine. What? <laughs> no. Okay. It's fine. Actually, yeah. Hold on. If you can get all the way to this bed, <laughs> then you can, like, put a cone down that's like this. I can. Yeah, go, go for yeah, it. Yeah, I was then. like, he's still hasted, so... <laughs> yeah. But he's still yeah, swinging at you first. Um, so oh, as you okay. fly by, he, like, brings up his axe. It should actually be slightly more, but it doesn't matter. He misses. Also, it wasn't the pirate. It was Rook, but uh, the highlighting is weird in this to me still. Anyway. Okay. I'm excited to use this. I bet. <laughs> this I, skill. I love this, like, Dylan not rolling well thing, you know? I <laughs> feel very comforting. It's because they're, they're not dogs. True. That's true. Oh, I made a mistake. All right, whatever. Your cone goes the other way. You hit all of them. What are you? What are you casting? Weapon storm, baby. Weapon storm? What is that? It it like copies my weapon. Monk is <laughs> doubling you. You swing a weapon you're holding, and the weapon magically multiplies into duplicates that swipe at all creatures in either a cone or an emanation. Four dice of damage? What? To creatures in the area. Your honor, your honor, you'll see everything is above board. <laughs> Determine the die size as if you were attacking with a weapon. For instance, if you were wielding a two-handed weapon in both hands, you use its two-hand damage die. Wait, so I... It's so a they primal all spell? make what the? reflex <laughs> saves. Wait, so... Five, six, d20. So these guys are all making plus nine saves. Okay. Uh, Except Rook is making a plus eleven save. Okay. Who will be the? He'll be the last die. So miss, critical success. Uh, so the guy, it's gonna just like go from top left to bottom right. How do, so, how do I look at the die? Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah. So this guy takes. What is your? What's the roll okay, damage? Okay, so it's, it's half damage, unaffected. Half damage, full damage, full damage, 
Oh, the DC is uh, 25, yeah. so I think the yeah. first guy takes full damage, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I can't do math. It's I think the full guy might be dead. Time. So roll your your four damage die. So how do I do this? Is it Do I roll the Midwest paddle, like, four times? No, it, it'll just no. be, like, 4d12, I think. Your Midwest paddle yeah. is d12. It'll be 4d12 plus whatever your strength is, or whatever your, uh, your uh, damage modifier is. I think? Wait, hold on. Yeah, it just uses your weapon die, like the weapon size. Okay, I don't think it gets your strength bonus. Does it? Wait, so it does... So I think you okay. just do 4d12. Should I just roll that then? Yeah. Well, that's, my... that's what the spell does. Okay. Is it slash roll? Yeah, slash two? roll yeah. and 4d12. Where deals four dice of damage. It's the same die size. Determine die size as if you're attacking with the uh, die size as if you're attacking with a weapon. Okay. That ain't bad. Yeah. So. If you're um, wielding two-handed weapon in both hands, you use the two-damage weapon. What the? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that it rolls. Like it just says you roll four damage dice, so I don't think it gets striking. Because that would be ridiculously broken. Um, anyway, top left pirate is dead. Uh, next pirate is unaffected. Dodges out of the way of the paddle. The next one takes half damage. He's the, at, he dies the, anyway. The several paddles that... I think it's like one paddle per person, but yes. <laughs> or I guess no, it's yeah, several paddles. Middle one dodges out of the way. Third one dies. Second one critically... F no, they barely just regular fail. <laughs> And they take... Oh, no. They're all... Anyone who gets hit by this that isn't Rook is dead. So these guys both die. <laughs> Rook saves and is... Takes half damage. Uh, still a lot of damage. That's still a lot of damage. <laughs> I forget. Is half rounded up in second edition? I think it's rounded I... down. I, yeah, I believe everything in this, in this edition is rounded down. Okay. I think Rook is dead, man. <laughs> Rook's dead. Or like Rook is unconscious. We'll mark him as unconscious. You, he tries to dodge out of the way, gets out of the way of like two of the swords and the last two just like catch him in the leg and then the shoulder. And he just, this guy, by the way, he's got like five arrows sticking out of him. Like he's, he's got some arrows in his shield. Now he's got a couple of cuts. A couple of bruises from your like paddle throw, and he just finally like passes out on the stairs. He just falls over. <laughs> um, and then there's just the one pirate like left in the stairwell, and he just like covers his head. It's like, what? What are you? I'm and the uh, Midwest battle. <laughs> and he just like throws his weapon down. I'm your worst nightmare, buddy. Uh -huh. <laughs> you don't want to see me on a dark lake. <laughs> All right. All right. So, <laughs> yeah, that guy surrenders. Combat is basically over. You've got a lot of really dead people, one unconscious Rook, and a surrendered pirate. He's just holding his hands up and like on, he's kneeling in front he's of you. Ranger. Sonus. Huh? Ranger. Oh yeah, yeah, and you have Solus, you see this stranger. And um Yeah, this other I don't know. <laughs> Soldiers are looking around, like looking to you for further further instructions and looking for further pirates. Um, but other than that, it's, it's like down to you guys to, to do what you want. What, what do you do? For move for him, move. <laughs> uh, hmm. I don't know, part of Solace, like part of me wants to just like dimension door to you. <laughs> <laughs> but I also don't want to get stabbed. So let's just not do that. Hmm? 
Uh, how much can I? How oh, much and... can I make out? How much detail can I make out at this distance? Uh, roll a perception check, I suppose. You can make out most yeah. details. You can see he's a half orc, I think, and he's got an, a fairly nasty axe at his side. Uh, I don't think you have any colors of Eden on you, Worm. Uh, no, it would be. I guess it would be kind of university colors. <laughs> oh, okay. Go, Bull Red. Um... No, I don't know what the. <laughs> Uh, what, what no, it would make? be kind of just like a gray armor, very nondescript. Do you guys want to, um, maybe we can, we can allow like one more bit of dialogue and then we'll take a break? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to do, uh, like, uh, so I tell the soldiers to go get this Rook guy. Okay. Yeah, they'll, and they'll... then I, um, I shout it. Uh, Warham, uh, I don't know where you're going, but the fight was this way. <laughs> uh, yeah, he, he, he kind of pauses, like, frozen at the door, and it'll turn towards you. Uh, hmm. You guys, uh, you guys own this castle? Well, you sure betcha. Uh, uh, excellent, excellent. Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, Sol uh, so Solace says... Sonus, I'm just going to assume that you come out this way and out the door. I'm the emperor here. Yeah, sorry. Oh, you say uh, you're the emperor, and then, like, the soldiers that are kind of going to, to resume their trebuchet duties, like, the one at the edge of the wall, like, looks does a double take. Uh, yeah, and Warham just kind of laughs. <laughs> and the soldier at the top is just like <laughs> Yeah, and I'm the son of Adam Emperor Abishin Wait, really? In the flesh <laughs> Wait, what? Seriously? So how about you tell me your name oh. And we can figure out if You have to die or if you can live uh, yeah, if as soon as it's like, oh, this is the emperor, uh, he is looking solace up and down, uh, far away. He's pretty far away. Uh, yeah, and he's gonna go, uh, so what do you got? You got, I'm seeing, I think, a staff, a couple bows. Hmm. You got any, uh, other artifacts we're talking, uh, what kind of stuff you got? And uh, <laughs> I think we see you know, like, Solis raise an eyebrow. Like, odd. He just like does like I don't know if you guys have seen like he just like contorts his face like a what? <laughs> <laughs> and maybe that'll be the last bit of this scene, yeah. and we can we can take a quick break. Yeah, that'll work. All right. I'll uh, I'll catch you guys in like I don't know. Uh, Ten minutes sound okay. I'll probably be back before then, but. We went that sounds like good. two and a half without a break, so. Yeah, sounds good. All right. Be back shortly. <laughs> <laughs> 